on the subject matter of uh, alleged enforced disappearance of persons. And from that debate, the House took four resolutions, right on the speaker, to wit that the House Committee on Human Rights and defense, with that of defense and internal affairs investigates the violation of human rights in the various fishing communities across the country and report to the House. Two, that the Land Attorney General reports to the House in 30 days then on the LCD political prisoners and their continued detention without trial. Three, that the Minister of Internal Affairs reports to Parliament on the progress of reported fresh investigations on the missing 18 persons, right on the speaker. And four, that the, the Human Rights Commission will investigate, reinvestigate the matter of missing persons. Right on the speaker, two issues from my procedure matter. One, that on issue three, issue two, the government, by prerogative of the president, released some political prisoners. I will not go into the nature of condition thereof, because as a lawyer, that is a new precedent in our jurisprudence. But three, the Minister of Internal Affairs was supposed to make a report because they committed that they are investigating the 18 missing persons. It is 26th December 2024, right on the speaker. There's no report on the missing persons. So in November, right on the speaker, I beg your pardon. There's no report, but the persons are still missing, I don't speak up. The denial was debunked because I provided evidence of the existence and the abduction, I don't speak up. May we get your guidance where the government vacated their former position and they are no longer the government that we can seek answers from another entity, I don't speak. And I'm surprised that he does not have record of what happened. And I resisted from debating the manner of release of the former prisoners because I don't want him to sound into matters of law and how they were convicted. But particularly on the missing 18, right on the speaker, you don't have to have a bigger memory to remember that actually they are still missing and that there was commitment to report on their missing. It, Probably fine. the minister will have to recap and there should, there should be a timeline in the immediacy for him to respond. It was the Minister of Internal Affairs who was supposed to report. Now that he's coming on Tuesday with a statement, right on the speaker. Right on the speaker, now that he's coming on Tuesday, may it please you that you order the Minister of Internal Affairs to come with both statements. Right on the speaker. This was a debate on the 5th of December, 2023. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And we, we are all aware that this is a matter before court. There are, however, two fundamental issues that government should make a statement on, clarify. And that relates to our relationship with Kenya, especially in light of the fact that we have an extradition treaty with that country. How safe are Ugandans. Now, that is outside the purview of sub judice if we really want to hide under that. Number two, there uh, is the element uh, of honorable, the honorable. comment on the apparent illegalities of people or a, a, a supposed criminal, as you want to prescribe him, or suspect, being brought back into the country and does not undergo the due immigration processes. To wit, having their documents stamped by immigration officers, because that in itself is criminal under our laws. So those are things you must really comment on for purposes of assuring the country that whatever happened was undertaken in total observance and adherence to the immigration laws and other laws as they exist in our region. I thank you, Right on Speaker. Deliberating on a couple of things for the good of our people. Right on Speaker, I made certain remarks especially in reference to remarks you had made during the coffee bill discussion. And I said that in my considered view, the remarks which had been made by yourself were tribal, in my considered view. 
Honorable Speaker, you said that um, you will only apologize, and you challenged me, and I took up the challenge. You said that uh, you can only apologize if I table evidence showing that you made remarks which were tribal in my view. I thought, who am I to be challenged by the Speaker, and I don't follow through. Honorable Speaker, I have carried some evidence which I want to table. You will look at it and examine it. It's both on CD and flash disk, uh, which where, where, has got what, videos. Where is the origin of that? Of remarks that you made. Where is the origin of that? The origin is the National Broadcaster, Uganda Broadcasting Corporation. But right over speaker, you will examine them and uh, you will uh, give your ruling. My love. Yes, right, Honorable Speaker. I want to go on a fishing expedition. On the evidence. So when you asked me for evidence, I have just executed my duty to table it. You're going to examine it, right, Honorable Speaker. Finally, right, Honorable Speaker. Uh, honorable, member, in that same honorable Member, is that that statement of yours that day was expatched? from the hand side because there was nobody to uh, to elaborate on it and you had already left the house but uh, going back to coffee bill you've gone back to the coffee bill no actually the coffee prices have gone up <laughs> right on speaker as i wrap up honorable members what honorable uh, uh, Semuju wants race. First, give him time. L let me just wrap up and my colleague comes on. I'm, I'm just wrapping up. I've actually mentioned what I wanted to say that, uh, Honorable Speaker, you expunged remarks from the Hansard about a claim that I made of security operatives raiding the chambers of parliament after the media was chased away, lights switched off, and our colleagues, including women, were bundled up by men and all of that. And I said, right, Honorable Speaker, who are these, who in my view were security operatives? And you said that uh, that was a defamatory statement because these were not operatives. I said, well, good enough, the Speaker is our leader here. There are cameras here who can help us understand who raided this place, who manhandled Honorable Aisha and all the other people that were manhandled. And again, I know that there are cameras in here, but I said I'll still put it on recording i have a cd here and a flash disk of people who raided these our chambers and manhandled people for you to examine and help us understand who were these because even right now reverend speaker you have said you don't know who these were that actually worried me the most because you are the head of this institution you are our leader and our safety is to a greater extent your responsibility so if my speaker does not know who raided this place and manhandled members of parliament, I am actually very worried. And I'm hoping that Honorable Speaker, you'll follow it up because the evidence is here, as I have tabled it, for you to follow up and help us understand. Because if my speaker doesn't know, then who knows?